hey guys it's princess and i'm back with another video today so today we are doing a hair tutorial clearly um this hair was sent sent by me whoa too much pressure for my step i bought this hair off aliexpress from a company called poker face hair store i guess but yeah it's a human hair wig deep wave 16 inches 13 by 4 frontal and yeah this tutorial is gonna be more so for my ladies out there with sensitive skin and run into issues while um basically using glue on your frontals like i've experienced you know those bumps that you might get from different glues i've experienced that specifically with bold hold the extra hold active whatever so yeah i'm just gonna show you guys how i still get to slay my wigs without having to do all that mess people usually do with glue um usually i do them completely glueless like just mousse but i'm gonna show you guys this new hack i've come across that really helps you to still use glue if you want to but protect your skin while doing so so yeah guys continue watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and rock with your girl whatever stay tuned for the slayage okay so at this point i've already plucked and bleached my knots definitely over bleached them but it's okay we can fix that it's not the end of the world i did notice that the wig is a bit small for my head i do have a big head but the wig is definitely a bit small i find so i did try to put a band in but when i put the band in that was like holding the wig because the wig is small it kind of it felt kind of weird so i just cut the band out we're just gonna lay it and see how that goes today maybe i'll put a band in the future maybe i won't the texture of the hair is really cute um especially when it's wet it's a really nice hair texture i prefer like more of an in-between between the wet look and the frizzy look so we're just gonna see what we end up with today and yeah okay so the first thing we're gonna do and i got this hack off of worthy but it's spelled with a v not an o but i got this hair hack off her and basically what we're gonna use is these next care um waterproof transparent dressings and i'm about to show you what we really do and how we do what we do and how we're still gonna have our wigs laid even if we still want to use glue because i like to use glueless wigs because preferably i like to get home and just dash my wig off but let's say you're going on a trip let's say you need your late your wig to be super late let's say it's summertime maybe because it's winter so you can to be honest you can get away with a glueless wig or got to be whatever but i'm just going to show my sensitive skin skin queens out there how um to protect your skin while still using glue because i feel like we get to see all these cute bomb frontals online but no one really talks about the misleading hairlines and the bumps and all of that so yeah so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take out one of the little bandages this is how it looks you can get it from walmart like six dollars yeah so you get one of these you take it out of the packaging like so and this is what it looks like and what it is it's almost like plastic wrap and you're about to see what we do with it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna peel your wig back and show off that hairline honey i got my meeks underneath here and my problem areas are really just the side of my face the side of my face is where it's the most sensitive like my forehead is okay like i have long sideburns so obviously sideburns are less but like the side of my face right here is where i really really get the reaction and it's happened to me like the first time it happened to me it was really bad because what they don't tell you is this glue is not good for your skin like your skin is not breathing so you can imagine if you have this adhesive stuck to your skin and then the lace your skin is not breathing and all it's really taking in is those like toxic um materials and hair glues so i just personally feel like not for me and this is a better alternative and it looks exactly the same anyways and so yeah so you take one of these grab your trusty pair of scissors and you unpeel it actually i cut it first so i'm gonna grab it like this and i cut it into threes but i only use the two sides because i find it easier to just peel off and applicate apply 
So cut off the two sides. Yeah, you cut off the two sides. They're not even, but that's okay. And this is what you're gonna be left with, which is basically the two ends that were there before. So we're gonna grab the first one. Like you can see, the side right here, literally right here is the most sensitive part of my skin. So we're gonna grab it, and this is what you get. It's like a clear film. It's kind of stuck to my finger. One thing you can do if you want, like let's say you've already tried the glue and you have bumps that are still healing and you still wanna wear your wigs. What you can do is you put a little polysporin or whatever like skin ointment, cream, whatever that you use and put it underneath this and it'll really help because while your skin is being protected by this clear film from all the toxic chemicals, if you put like something that's helping it heal itself, it really does help because it'll be sealed in with this um, clear stuff. So I just grab it and it's really sticky and annoying sometimes. So I just grab it, eyes itchy, and I just stick it to the side of my face. Okay, that works. Farther back into your hair if you want, it'll come out when you remove your wig. Like, it's sticky, but not like tape sticky. And I kind of went over what I wanted to do. So if you want, like you can cut the excess. To be honest, I probably won't, but yeah. So then you just do the other side, same way. Okay, cut, cut, cut. Cut a little bit of my sideburns, but guys, I really just do not like my sideburns. I just feel like they're so long. I usually just cut them off, but yeah. So that's what we're gonna do, and you're probably wondering, hey, People are gonna see something shining through my lace. I gotta ask for that. You're probably wondering, like, even if you put your wig down like this, it's very obvious there's something clear sitting underneath the wig. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a foundation that is your shade, and you're gonna grab a small brush, and you're gonna dip it in there. I usually just use the lid because obviously we're not using that much foundation. And I completely cover the entire little film. What do I feel like? Guys, I can't do this camera stuff, bro. Like, I can't see. But yeah. You're just gonna completely cover the film with the foundation. You don't want anything shiny left behind because it definitely will show um, through your lace. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, and then we're gonna grab a powder that matches our skin. I just use the same powder that um, I use on my lace, like when I put it on the inside of my lace. I forgot to say what the foundation was. Maybelline Fit Me 355, so I'm gonna make up tutorial, but that's what I use. Then I use the LA Girl, um, <laughs> the LA Girl High Definition Matte Powder. This is, yeah, it's my color. And then you're just going to like basically set the foundation that you just put. I know that looks weird because the tape folded up, but we move. It's just gonna set the foundation, and we're just trying to make it look as close to our skin as possible because it's better for something to be blending like looking like your skin than a shiny film and i really guys like the chair is creaky but like i feel like this is how i'm going to be doing my wigs forever because it just makes sense and as you can see right we hit it once the hair is there and whatnot, like it doesn't do anything weird underneath your lace. And I'll show you guys when the install is done too. But like I said, like you guys can see that the wig is kind of small. Like I'm kind of like tugging on it. Let's see when the ear tabs are gone, but we're really gonna have to finesse this wig. Okay, so now I've cut off my ear tabs. 
I also use the opportunity to kind of like trim around the little, um, what should I call it? The dressing, the clear dressing, whatever. I use that time to kind of trim it because you want it to be as undetectable as possible. So I trimmed it to more match the shape of the hairline of the wig, my own hairline, and to just make sure it wasn't coming up too far into my face. And I know you guys could really see that this thing is over bleached, but we're gonna fix that. So we've cut out our ear tabs. We have our little dressing going on on the sides. So now we're gonna start to lay down this baby. Okay, so the glue that I'll be using today is by Esha. Um, it's their waterproof, water resistant glue basic glue i got this a few days ago not a few days ago i got this like a few weeks ago just to test out this method because before i'm gonna come on youtube and tell people to do it i have to test it out myself so i got this i really like it because it dries fast it's not like gold gold spawn or bold hold where you're just there with a blow dryer waiting for it to dry down whatever it's really good it dries fast dries gets clear really fast um i haven't had any issues with it um yeah i think it's a pretty good glue i literally only use one layer of this because again like i said i like to come home and be able to take my wigs off and when i do my wigs i usually use them for like three to four days maybe a week if it's one of those weeks but yeah i really like this glue and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna basically put a strip along here and then just along my sideburns i don't put any glue in the middle like right here on the side so yeah do I have my rat tail? It's just what we're gonna do now. Guys, like, honestly, with this hair, I feel like I've just been having a bad time with it so far because, first of all, I over bleached it, which is my fault. Because some of the knots seem kind of dark um, in the middle, so I'm like, oh, let me just leave on the bleach for a little bit longer. But guys, and then it does say pre-plucked. And it was pretty good on this size, but why? That middle part, like the middle of the hair was just really dense. So I had to like pluck a lot, which was whatever. Cause you know, you have to, um, you have to blend, make that hairline believable, I guess. And then I realized that I put a hole in the lace, so I had to sew it somewhere in the middle over there. Somewhere in the middle of the lace. Is this here? Guys, doing things on a camera just makes the task seem harder than it actually is. But you guys saw how much glue, how much glue I put. I didn't put that much. I spread it out as much as I can, and I literally just stick to like the middle of my head. And that's about it because, you know, we want to look cute and keep our edges. I'm not going to bother with a wig cap because my head gets hot. And I don't, I tried the wood cap method a few times, just not for me. Um, seven out of 10 recommendation. Use some clips to keep the hair out of the glue. So with the side, I literally just put glue like this. That's literally all I do. Guys, sorry, my braids are just super messy. That's why I can't even show the whole of them on camera. But yeah, I just take it like this. And just bring it around for the sideburns. Like, as you guys can see, I completely avoid, I completely avoid the side of my head because it's like, it's the most sensitive part of my skin. And again, like, once you have these core parts laying down, everything in between is just filler. Not to say that I don't use any adhesive at all to make the sides stay down, but the glue kind of gets into my sideburns sometimes, but they're sideburns and mine are extra long and I ran out of near to cut them. So it is what it is at this point. And another thing, like, let me just talk to you guys about skincare while wearing wigs bro like 
And another thing people do is like they'll wipe off their skin. Like imagine this, your skin, you're wiping it off with alcohol, then you're sticking this adhesive onto it, not allowing it to breathe. And then the first sense of moisture it gets when um, you're removing your wig is more alcohol. Like I just feel like that is not good for your skin at all. So what I use to remove my wigs, I have um, water and conditioner in a spray bottle and I just spray the entirety of my edges with the, or the edges of the wig with water and conditioner. And I just do this motion with the lace, not really scratching at it, but you know, like just massaging the water into there. And then the wig slips off. Like love your skin guys, because the, the whole alcohol on skin thing never really sat right with me. And it's your skin will love you for it. I'm telling you. So yeah, as you can see, like you see how fast the middle dries, like that's completely clear. We're just waiting on the sides. So I'm gonna pull the wig down onto that. One thing about this glue though, I will say, it doesn't really start to tack in until you, um, until you tie it down. So it allows, I guess it gives you that leeway to make a few mistakes when you're moving the wig around. Because if you like put the wig in a wrong spot, like you can lift it again. The wig doesn't, the glue doesn't really start to set in until you, um, what else in there? Oh, it's probably, yeah, that's where the hole is at. But the, yeah, the glue doesn't start to set in until you um, tie it down. And I like that because, you know, sometimes you put your wig down and once you look at it, you need to move it more forward or whatever the case may be, so yeah just gonna wait for the sides to dry i think i like the placement already i'm not too angry at it you guys could definitely see i over bleached but again i said we're gonna fix that and i like the lace so far it's pretty thin easy to work with i'd like to think i did a pretty good job of blending but we're gonna see in the end if that lace really disappears and yeah, so I'm gonna be back in a few minutes with my side to dry. Okay, so um, I'm laying my edges. I definitely noticed that I put the glue way too low because the lace literally cuts in like this and I wanna make it short. And I always mess up with my ear tabs and I have to hold that L with all of my wig. So I'm trying to do something different this time. But right now what we've got, we've wrapped the hair down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a hot comb and I'm just gonna hot comb all of this hair out of the way. Then leave it in a ponytail for when I'm trying to, um, you know, do what I do with this hairline. And I really love this hair, guys. It's so cute. Really nice curl, nice bounce. It didn't shed too much. Just some really nice hair. So yeah, I'll be back when we're on to stage number two. Okay guys, so I went back and I did something off camera, but I just unwrapped my hair, grabbed the God TV spray, sprayed the entire hairline and quickly tied it back because I find that when you spray the God TV spray on top of the glue, sometimes it makes the glue kind of loosen, even though God TV's out. Because God TV's alcohol, now that makes sense to me. But I just sprayed my hairline and tied it back. And now this time I'm super leaving um, the wrap on. I literally just cut off the strings off a do-rag. This is what that is. So yeah, I have like hot combed my edges, like whatever hair is exposed right now. And we can see something is in the works. Okay. You can see some of like the over bleached parts right here. It's okay. Guys, you could always just go buy some mascara. If you want to dye back to here, you can do that. I don't have that kind of time. So yeah, we're just gonna be waiting for everything to set, for the God to be to completely dry, for the glue to feel like it's set. Then we're gonna go through, do our baby hairs, let that set and style your hair to your preference and then we're done. So yeah, I'll be right back guys. Okay guys, so it's been like, my lips have been dry this whole time, but it's been like 15, 20 minutes. <sighs> Let's see what we're, <laughs> we're definitely working with a bit of a crunch crunch right now, but 
that's soon to be fixed just have to comb all that out but so what i wanted to do now i want to cut off the lace so i'm just gonna comb through the crunch right now okay now usually i use scissors but um i wanted to try the method of using the razor blade so let's see how that works i like to cut my lace in sections so i'll cut off the middle like this just helps me to um, focus on what I'm doing better I guess so hmm I never done this definitely have to gonna kind of Kind of scared to cut off my forehead. I think I'm just gonna start by cutting off everything that lifts and then go in to make everything look right. I think. Maybe we're not doing it right. I feel like it'd be easier one, if I were in a mirror, and two, if I was doing this on someone else's head. So let me stick to my scissors. Just gonna go in. One thing I've learned over like the times of using my lace or doing lace frontals is the less lace you leave behind, the better. Because like, you know, you're trying to make, you're trying to blend in your stuff, right? So lace and leaving a lot of it doesn't really help you to do that. I almost cut my forehead off with scissors too. So maybe the razor isn't so bad. Like even if you notice that those certain parts are glued down, you can just lift and cut it. Why have I given myself a bird's beak or peak, whatever it's called? Is that what it's called when it's on your hair? I don't know. But yeah, let me just continue cutting. I think my hairline is right there, so I'm gonna try not to go too far. Let's do this. As I said before, my sideburns are long, so therefore when I'm doing baby hairs, I just cut them a little bit longer and lay them so they could hide my actual sideburns. Sometimes I'll cut off my sideburns, but like I said before, I'm out of Nair, haven't bought any more, so it's, it is what it is at this point. Wow, okay. So, oh, I didn't even take in the laser, it's still there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut out our baby hairs. I cut out, like part them out. I've never done my baby hairs like this before, but a lot of people, like they do like the whole perimeter. I've never really done that. But that's what I'm gonna try because we it's okay to try new things, right? So I'm just gonna 
separate all of that out. I think it should be a tip thin layer because Yeah. Guys, I just feel like a lot of things will. Like, you know those ones when you're doing your hair and as you go on, like you start to just notice more and more things. That's how I'm feeling right now. Okay. Everything is itching off, but so what we're gonna do separate out for our baby hairs. I don't think I want like a perfect straight line going through, so I'm kind of trying to make the line jagged. Sorry guys, like this hair is really irritating my face. We got a spot right there. I guess that's okay. Maybe that's just like the bleached hair not looking right. Okay, I'm gonna put everything back into a ponytail. Pull these down and I'm gonna go back in again with my got to be spray. Because we just really wanna make sure Sorry, we just really want to make sure that everything is doing what it's supposed to be doing and sitting down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my got to be onto my rat tail cone, like so. Can we see And we're going to do some of these. Mostly get on the lace to make the lace sit down. Okay, so I have all of these hairs. I'm gonna grab my hair tie. Stick it right there. And ow! <laughs> And I'm gonna tie it. Make sure everything's covered. All of this get out of my face. Okay guys, I think we're gonna sit for another 10 to 15 minutes to make sure that everything is just set then we're gonna go by, do our baby hairs, and yeah. I think I'm gonna trim these a little bit because they're really annoying, my lashes and everything. So I'm gonna trim them because we're gonna cut them anyways, right? So let me just do that. Okay guys, we'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been like 15 minutes or so. I'm kind of tired of doing my hair at this point. So let's just Ah. Okay, okay. Guys, I never do my baby hairs this extra. I always choose to go very simple. And one of the main reasons why I love using um, mousse to do my baby hairs is that 
once you start to comb them out, they look a lot more fluffy and natural. Keep in mind that I have not been looking in a mirror to do anything. So if anything look crazy, please. Just leave me be. Okay, comb everything out. I never, ever, ever do my baby hairs this extra. But this is a little chunky. I'll go back and thin it out. I don't know if I'm mad at it. I think it's kind of cute. Okay. So I am doing a middle part. Just gonna part that out and then I'm gonna go with my hot comb, flat it out. I'm gonna style. To be honest guys, I'll be back when everything is looking good. <laughs> guys, like I just want you to get into everything. Like I think I did a good job. All things considered. I mean, I'm not done fixing it up. I'm gonna go make those black hairs black again, but I think I did a pretty good job. So yeah, now I'm gonna really be back. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is the finished. This is the finished product. Just... Those are looking a little too stiff. This is my first time doing like super extra baby hairs. And I think I like it. I think it's pretty cute, especially with the curly hair. But guys, this hair texture is so cute. Very cute curl. I just put some water, put some mousse in there. Because I don't like the too wet look. And obviously the too fluffy looks kind of weird. So I think I found a happy medium. It's my first time doing deep wave hair, guys. And I think I really like it. Other than like me over bleaching, I just went in with some mascara and like covered the parts that are overly bleached because mascara has those brushes that'll give you that hair effect. Went in with some powder on my part, some powder on the edges just to help that blend in better. And I think we've, I think we've achieved a little something. I think we have all things considered so guys thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful if you have any questions you can comment them don't forget to comment like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye peace <laughs>